Welcome to Chase the Lion number two. I don't have any crazy jokes, but I found two jokes about bears. So will that work? What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear, get it? Gums, yeah, whatever, okay, fine. Let me tell you another one. Why, why doesn't a bear wear shoes? Because he likes to walk with his bare feet, get it? All right, I'll just get into the lesson. Today, we're starting with Chase the Lion number two, about a guy who was the original lion chaser. His name was Daniel. Daniel was such a cool guy. He loved God. He took time to pray every day. He did not, you know what, he had other appointments, but he would cancel everything because he knew that it was time to pray. It was time for him to talk to God. And one day, some people got mad at him and they tried to frame him. So they went up to the king and told him, look, if, they, if this person doesn't worship you, what you need to do is throw him in a pit. And then the king is like, why would I do that? And they framed him. You know what? They went up to Daniel and they were like, they caught him praying. So they grabbed him and threw him in this pit. Can you imagine being in a dark place like this? They threw him in this pit. All right, you thought that'd be it? No, check this out. They threw, they threw him in there. And there was lions there. Lions, they were so hungry. They hadn't fed him for days, so they threw Daniel in there thinking that the, the lions were going to eat him. You know what happened? Daniel started praying because he realized that the God that he used to pray to every day, he wasn't fake. He was real. So what he did, he started praying. He got on his knees and he was praying. And probably out of the corner of his eye, he heard this roaring thing. You know what he did? He continued to pray. And what God did is he shut the lion's mouth down. He, he didn't make him hungry. They didn't eat him. I would have been scared. I don't know about you. If all of a sudden the lion's right next to me. But you know what? I think he even used them for pillows. He even took care of that. But this is the cool thing. The next morning, the king, he was like, oh, worry. He liked Daniel. But the people tried to frame him. And all of a sudden they showed up in the morning. Guess what? Daniel wasn't just bones, looked like ribs. But you know what it was? Daniel was totally alive. He was alive. You know why? Because he prayed and God protected him. See, when we pray, God protects us. So today we're going to continue on this lesson with Chase the Lion number two. He was an awesome guy. He chased those lions by praying. It wasn't by using his hands and a whole bunch of different stuff. But he did what? He prayed. Some of us are about to become lion chasers because we're about to become prayer warriors. So stay tuned. I'm gonna explain a little bit more about it in a little bit. So have fun. See you guys later. Bye.